This is the El Paso International Airport with the airport code ELP Travel Guide. Fly to El Paso International Airport to get to destinations in West Texas, Southern New Mexico, and Northern Mexico. El Paso International Airport is conveniently located in the West Texas city of El Paso at the foothills of the Franklin Mountains, also known as Sun City. This El Paso International Airport Travel Guide provides helpful information for passengers arriving in El Paso, Texas. Welcome to HIPBIG. If you're a travel enthusiast, then join our community by subscribing to this channel. Like this video and write a comment. We really do want to hear from you so that we can keep improving our content. This is the El Paso, Texas Travel Guide series. This episode is the El Paso International Airport with the airport code ELP, helpful travel guide for arriving passengers. From the airplane, we can see the rolling eastern foothills of Mundy Gap and panoramic views of Juarez, Mexico, New Mexico, El Paso, and the Rio Grande River. It was a quick three and a half hour flight from SeaTac Airport to this El Paso Airport. All current direct flight routes to El Paso Airport are domestic flights, which I found odd since the border of Mexico is less than eight miles away. As the plane got closer to land, we could see the towering mountains and cactus-filled valleys bathed in warm sunlight. El Paso International Airport is located at 6701 Convair Road in El Paso. It's about six miles east of downtown El Paso. Once we landed, we taxied to our gate pretty fast. As we exited the plane, we could feel the heat of El Paso. It was hot. We exited into the terminal on the second floor. All gates are on the second floor of this terminal. If you wear a watch like me, then you appreciate this reminder wall. El Paso International Airport has one commercial terminal building with two concourses, A to the west and B on the east side. <laughs> For your information, there's a mother's nursing room located in Concourse A near the restroom. There are also no currency exchange counters at this El Paso airport. However, there is an ATM located in Concourse B near Gate B6. Also near gate B7 is the animal relief area. In between the two concourses is the exit door for the secure area. Once we exited the secure area doors, we took the escalator down to level one. There are also elevators you can use. In this area, you'll find a lot of uh, restaurants like Pizza Hut Express, Carlos and Mickey's, and there's even a Dos Equis beer cart. Before leaving this section of the arrival hall, turn around to see the ELP Virtu Wall. On the right side of the arrival hall, you'll find the information counter. In the arrival hall, we continue to follow the signs for baggage claim. All signs are clearly posted in English. To the left of the arrival hall is the ticketing area and to the right is baggage claim and the rental car center. We took a right to the baggage claim area to collect our bags. The baggage carousels are on the right side and directly across there is a military assistance counter and another ATM. Further down on the left hand side are the rental car counters. As with any airport, there's a variety of ground transportation options available at El Paso Airport. Private car pickup is curbside, right outside the doors of the terminal. There is no waiting allowed. 
Security here is very strict, maybe due to its vicinity to the border of Mexico. If you're taking a taxi, exit the main terminal doors and baggage claim and walk across the street to the second ground transportation island and walk to the left where the yellow taxi sign is. Taxis are licensed by the city of El Paso and metered. Taxis are available 24 hours a day and there are five taxi cab companies with airport permits. Border Cab Company, Checker Taxi Cab Company, Sun City Cab Company, United Independent Cab Company, and Yellow Cab Taxi. If you continue to walk up west on the second transportation island, there you'll find the rideshare app pickup area. Uber, Lyft, and Andale Ride all operate from this El Paso airport. Look for the brown sign. The hotel shuttle pickup area is on the first transportation island from baggage claim exit doors on the right hand side. Look for the clearly marked sign. The airport provides a courtesy hotel phone bank located directly in front of the baggage claim area. The pickup area for the courtesy shuttles between long-term parking and the terminal is west of the hotel shuttle pickup area. Shuttles run 24 by 7. At the west end of this first transportation island, you'll find the bus stop. Sun Metro offers two routes, 33 and 50 from the airport seven days a week to downtown El Paso. Please visit Sun Metro's website for more detailed information. There are also pre-arranged commercial shuttles that are permitted to operate at this El Paso airport. Alamo Shuttle Service, American Shuttle, Amigo Shuttle, Chuma's Tours, El Paso li uh, Shuttle Limousine, L&M Limo Service, La Cruz's Shuttle, Paisano's Transportation, and Silver Stage Lines. We had a rental car, so after picking up our bags, we walked directly across the rental car counter. The car pickup area is attached to a separate building um, on the second floor, so there's no shuttle to take. There's a nice sitting area and restrooms on the first and second floors. There are elevators and escalators available. Paso International Airport is a simple, hassle-free, calm airport that offers easy access to baggage claim and ground transportation. Once we got into our rental car, off we went to explore the wide roads of Sun City and beyond. Happy travels! Go to hipfig.com for more information or Go to our Hip Fake Travel channel on YouTube and be sure to subscribe for regular updates.